right class, eyes up front, put on your thinking caps, and pay attention to the overhead projector in the front of the room because this is a tutorial video pretty much answering you guys frequently asked questions about how to install a blowtorch mod i have some tool tips and tricks and some issues that you guys were having with reshade all that's going to get answered today in this video okay so if you don't know what blowtorch mod is it is linked in my description box below and if you check out my other videos that say realistic world tour and rebuilding the world from scratch and stuff just click on that and it'll pretty much explain to you what blowtorch is um but yeah for you guys that know what it is and you were having trouble downloading it i'm going to show you how to put it in your game so once you click the description box in my um description box <laughs> once you click the blowtorch mod in my description box it should bring you to this page you're just going to scroll a little bit and click on download blowtorch and it should bring you to this page here okay and first things first you need to ignore this where it says you need all files because you do not the only files you need are the sims 4 base game files so click that download it the sims 4 gp files click that download it the sims 4 ep files part one and the sims 4 ep files part two okay just download that that should be four things that you're downloading all right and once you download it i already did even though i have the mod installed already i just kind of want to follow along with you guys so i already downloaded it and they're just going to show up here in your downloads as four zipped files and you're just going to right click and unzip the file i would do this one at a time instead of you know unzipping all the files just do it one at a time it's going to put extract here so unzip it and this should pop up the sims 4 folder Delete the file that you just unzipped, just so you don't get lost, because it's gonna be four files that you have to do that with. Okay, leave that open, right? And then you're just gonna right click here, pull up desktop or whatever, go to Windows C, Program Files, um, EA Games, The Sims 4, click on Data, Shared Worlds, Areas, and this should pop up. Okay, and open up that other file where you just unzipped everything. Click the Sims 4, data, shared, worlds, areas. And you see, it's pretty much the same. You're just gonna highlight everything from that file that you unzipped, highlight everything, and just drag it and drop it in here. Okay, I'm not gonna do it because I already did it. I already have the mod in my game, but you're just gonna drag it and drop it in there. And it's gonna ask you if you wanna replace the files, just click yes, and boom, you're done with that, right? And then all of those files are gonna disappear. Leave this window open, and you're just gonna go back here to what you originally unzipped the folder, delete it, cause you're done with it. And click this, just backspace until you get to the sims 4 again all right and now we're going to do the sims 4 gp file so same thing unzip it delete with the zip file click on the folder the sims 4 delta and this is going to pop up so over here with that open and um other window click on the sims 4 delta and just drag this and drop it into this folder don't drop it into any of these folders you want to like drag in and like you know put it right here make sure it doesn't drop into the individual folders um you probably could like just drag it and drop it right there right inside of delta but i'm just showing you how i do it so just highlight all that drag it like you know press right here or something because you don't want to put it in these individual folders you just want to put it in the delta folder itself um, I hope that makes sense. And after that, you'll be done with that. Delete that because you're done with it. And then unzip the EP files part one. Delete that, you're done with it. Click on the folder, the Sims 4, Delta, and you're gonna see these folders again. Highlight all of them, drag, and drop into the delta folder again not into the individual folders but just into the delta folder itself okay even if you want just so you make sure that you're not um dragging it you can just scroll down and like you know put it right here just as long as it's in the delta folder okay 
And then after that, you'll be done with that. And every time I ask you if you want to replace those files, always click yes. And this is the last one. Unzip it. Delete that because you are done. And these are the last EP files. Just highlight it, drag, drop into the Delta folder, okay? And that's it. Once you've done that, you've installed Blowtorch. So once you open your game, Blowtorch will be in there. So you can pretty much delete all of those. And yeah, Blowtorch will be in your game once you've done all that. If it's not, then you definitely did something wrong. So just watch this again. Okay, maybe even slow this video down if you need to. Um, I hope I'm explaining everything right. But that is exactly how you download Blowtorch. That's also how you install a lighting mod too, by the way. It's the same exact way. Um, but yeah, after that, Blowtorch should be in your game and it should be good to go. Oh, I did forget to mention that Blowtorch for some reason doesn't get rid of the deco inside of um, eco lifestyle so in evergreen harbor it's still going to have the houses and all the deco there so if you want to get rid of that you're going to have to download el hood hiders and just download that and put that in your mods folder okay you're just gonna download this drop this into your mods folder that's if you um want to hide all of the eco lifestyle you know deco because blowtorch doesn't get rid of it um so yeah just download that drop that into your mods folder and boom you're good you're good to go okay moving on to in game some of you guys that downloaded my reshade um said that when you downloaded it it came up as very yellow and super like saturated and sharp in the game and i realized and i figured out why that's happening so you're just gonna click home on your keyboard and if you are having that problem and it's coming up as, you know, yellow or weird in your game, it's because of duplicates. So you're going to look and see what's checked and you're going to see that it's going to have like this checked multiple times. Or when you scroll, it's going to have like this checked multiple times or color matrix checked multiple times. And you're just going to uncheck the duplicates. And if you go through and uncheck every duplicate it will be back to normal but to prevent that from happening each time you turn your game on because even if you uncheck it if you don't resolve the issue it's gonna appear each time you open up your game you're just gonna right click and you're gonna put press open folder in explorer and you're gonna right click each duplicate and see what the second folder is because when you right click it open folder in explorer it should say reshader shaders but if you right click it and it says reshader shader or say reshader something else besides this then you just want to go in and you're going to click on it and delete that entire folder not this folder but whatever the duplicate you know what's ever causing that problem whichever folder it is um i think my folder said like rs arc or auto or something it was like an extra reshade folder you just want to go through and move it to your recycle bin and delete it and that should solve your entire issue for that. <laughs> really hope that made sense. That's the, literally the best way I can explain it. Um, just press home and your reshade should look exactly like this if you follow those instructions pro properly. Um, sorry if I sound a little weird. Okay, I'm a little sick, all right? But hopefully that made sense. So moving on from that, I'm gonna show you some like tool tips and tricks that I learned. Um, some of you guys probably already knew this, but I just learned it. So I'm gonna show you cause it's gonna help you when placing things off lot. So let's just go over here to um, the deco house that I have placed, which is right here. Um, my brother did make this deco house. Okay, if you want realistic deco homes in your game, just go over there and pledge to his Patreon. Okay, there's so many more coming. But um, for example, I am going to open this up in tool. I wonder if it'll let me do it because it's on a lot. Okay, this is actually placed on a lot, so it probably won't let me do it. Um, because I actually placed that on a lot, but let me use another deco house that's not on a lot, like this one. Okay, so I'm gonna shift, click, toggle object, okay? And you see it's gonna turn green. 
um if you want like a actual like basics going over how to use tool please watch my how to use tool video where i'm going over the basics and then you will understand what i'm doing okay and if you want to click multiple things just hold alt click that hold alt click that hold alt click that hold alt click that alt click and just click as many things as you want if you want to move multiple things so you can move that by just pressing it and you see i just moved it um if you want to undo your action just press shift and click full option undo and it'll put it back to where it was but that's how you're able to move multiple things just by like alt clicking it and moving multiple things you can also after you alt clicked it and you highlighted multiple things you can just shift click it and this should pop up and then you'll be able to like rotate everything that you just um clicked you know so you don't have to rotate each individual thing you want to click rotate around center because you see how it has these individual like circles you want to click rotate around center so it's just one big circle and then we're going to click 90 just rotate it 90 degrees and then it'll rotate the entire thing like it'll rotate everything that you have clicked okay just like that and just click like you know the building the biggest thing that you clicked uh just click that to, you know to untoggle the greenness and boom you just rotated everything you just moved everything without having to do it individually and if you want to put it back just like randomly sh shift click something and just press undo and everything will go back to normal now we're going to open up tool you can also do this in build mode too but i'm just not in build mode so um but you have you have to have better build by to open tool in build mode and then you won't be able to go around your world in build mode so i really don't like using tool in build mode unless i'm like building something and i need to use it um so we're going to toggle active object again alt click we're just going to alt click some random things like this mailbox this tree and you know just random stuff like that and then let's say i want to place that over there but i didn't i don't want to move this i kind of want to make a duplicate okay so you're just going to hold shift alt click and now you just made a duplicate of whatever you're trying to duplicate <laughs> you're like able to duplicate multiple things at once okay so now that's a duplicate and say i want to put it like i don't know right here boom we just duplicated that stuff it looks silly but none of this matters because i'm going to be deleting all this anyways and i'm not going to save this so it doesn't matter i can just put that right there but yeah so that is like some little tricks that i learned um like you know just with messing around with tool and things like that just how to duplicate things and you can also do it with this tree shift alt boom you have another tree right there i love that i use that so much especially like when i'm trying to place multiple light poles or multiple things i can just duplicate duplicate it right on the spot instead of going back in build mode and um getting another object it just makes things so much simpler and so much easier um also you can shift click on tool and if you want to move things precisely because in my other tool video i just said that you can just click it around but if you hold alt can you see that you can adjust it and move it more um with more pre precision oh, wow i can't talk today but you see i'm like moving it with more precision instead of just you know if i just not don't hold alt it's like that it's very spotty but if i hold alt i can move it exactly where i want to so yeah that is another thing another little trick that i learned when i said like i learned some like things that would make tool a lot easier that is what i learned so now that's how i'm able to get like doors and like stuff on these deco houses and decorate them and put everything on them because i just go in build mode on an empty lot and i like do everything i want to do and then i'll just like click everything you know that i placed and i'm able to like you know move it so really cool love that um that made placing things so much easier especially like with fences and stuff because i can just like click this click all these little 
um, deco fence panels and I can just shift alt and boom right there didn't even have to don't even have to like place those individually anymore and then I can rotate them like I said make sure it's rotated around center make sure it's a big circle if it looks like this then you don't want it to look like that okay you want it to be one big circle and you know just rotate it rotate it 90 degrees rotate it um I don't know 45 degrees like just however I want it to be so I really love that and I hope that was helpful I'm trying to see I think that's pretty much it for this video um we went over how to install a blowtorch um I went over the reshade thing I showed you guys some little fun tips and tool I'm trying to see if there's anything else um like I said if you want to know how to like you know the basics of using tool please watch that previous video that I made or just look for the video on my channel it has like the Taco Bell profile like picture on there and um it'll say how to use tool or how I use tool or something like that and watch that and you'll be able to like you know know how to rotate things elevate things um I didn't know about these tips and tricks when I made that video but now I know so I didn't mention them in there so just take what you learned here and watch that video and tool should be easy for you to use after that like it should be a breeze okay now I will say sometimes um if I have to elevate something in build mode, like if I have to press um, the nine or zero to lift something up in build mode and then I place it in tool, the object will go back to where it was originally, like the door will slip down. And if it does that, I just usually will click on like the door and just like, you know, elevate it back to its place by pressing like 0 0.1 or something like that um, to elevate it back to where I had it before um you just want to keep doing small things like you never want to like elevate it to like five or six or anything you always want to start with like decimals like 1.1 1 1.2 1 .1, if you can 0 0.2 0 0.3 like always start small when it comes to elevating or sizing things up when it comes to rotating you can use bigger numbers that doesn't matter but anytime it comes to like you know um elevating use small decimals uh that is my tip for you guys um i think that is pretty much it for me in this video i went over everything i wanted to and yeah i hope i didn't forget anything if i did just remind me in the comments and i'll probably like address it in my next video or in the comments if you guys have any extra questions about anything um like you guys like i said it before blowtorch does not remove trees so there will still be like trees that are a part of ea and rocks and stuff that you can't move these trees i place myself but like these trees over here and like these rocks and stuff i can't move that or i can't delete that so sometimes your deco buildings will be on top of trees and there will be trees peeking through and stuff like it is here but that doesn't bother me if it bothers you guys and i really don't know what to tell you but stuff like that don't bother me i don't care um so yeah but sometimes there will be times where you have to put buildings on top of trees or sometimes buildings will be hanging off in the back like this school i got right here it's hanging off but you know it don't matter because it's about just you know the front the aesthetic of it <laughs> it don't matter that's hanging off in the back okay things won't be perfect okay we're not creating our own video game from scratch we just working with what we got using ea and their worlds and their restrictions so with that being said that's it for me okay y'all know i can stay here all day and yippee but i don't want to do that today because i'm very sniffly and sinusy and that's what happens when you love animals but you're allergic to them okay you just deal with the sniffles and the stuffy nose but yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye